Machine learning. It's when instead of telling the computer what to do exactly, you tell it what you want. And today we're doing just that. We're gonna teach the AI to play a game and be good at it. Let's go! I chose Flappy Bird because it's an easy game to make. And I already made the window. I even drew the sky. Now let's draw the bird. Picasso would be proud. I made a class for the bird, and we're gonna draw the bird using this function. Okay, let's see the bird. Um, why do I forget these things? There we go. Now we need to make this game more realistic. I asked my friend Newton about how can I do that. He told me the story about an apple that fell on his head and how it changed his life. I'm guessing he was talking about gravity. So let's add that to our game. The bird will have a vertical speed. And we're gonna increase that speed by some amount after each frame. Then we're gonna add the resulting speed to the y coordinate of the bird. Let's see. It's working! As you probably know, birds can prevent themselves from falling by using their wings to fly. In our case, we're just gonna set the vertical speed to a certain value. Okay, the bird is flying. But we want it to flap, so we're also gonna add this condition. And now the bird is flapping instead of flying. Now to make sure the bird doesn't go outside the window, let's add some limitations. The bird will die when it hits the floor. It also won't be able to flap when it's at the top. Okay, the top limit is working. Let's check the bottom one. Amazing. 10 out of 10. Now we're gonna animate the bird. The bird will look like this when it's flying. And like this when it's falling. I also made the bird look at the player when it dies, so it looks like the bird is saying, It's your fault. Alright, here's the code which does everything I said earlier. And now the bird looks more natural. It's your fault. Now we're gonna add pipes. I drew the pipes in the same style as the bird. Then I made a class for them. To make things easier, I made the Y origin of the pipes to be this part. Alright, we have two pipes. Let's generate some more. I made a new class called Pipes Manager that will generate the pipes. And we're gonna use a vector to store those pipes. I hate you. I don't care. Then we're gonna remove the pipes from the vector as soon as they leave the screen. For now, the pipes will alternate between being placed at the top and at the bottom. Okay, we can clearly see more pipes. One thing I would like to fix is that the pipes keep moving even when the bird is dead. And here's how I fixed it. Along with the fix, I also added the ability to restart the game. The pipes are moving, and now they're not moving. Cool. Now we're gonna add collisions. The bird will get the first two pipes that are in front of it. Then it's gonna check the collision with those pipes. Let's see if it works. It's still Okay, so the problem was we kept setting the bird's vertical speed to zero even when it was dead. And now it's working. The next thing I want to add is randomness. I just defined a random distribution for the Y coordinates. And we're gonna randomly select a number from that distribution when generating pipes. Alright, now the game is slightly more challenging to play. Now that we've finished with the gameplay part, let's add a scoring system. The logic is simple. As soon as the bird goes through the pipes, we increase the score. Let's test it. What do you think? Can I reach 10 points? Damn, I'm so good at this game. Okay, for real this time. Can I reach 10 points? 7 8 No! I was so close! The last thing I want to do is to make this game a little more prettier. So I drew the ground and the background. Alright, now the game looks a lot better. Let's move on to the next step. Our goal is to make a bird that will take inputs from the environment and based on those inputs decide whether or not it should flap. And for that, we're gonna use neural networks. Every neural network has an input layer, an output layer, and some number of hidden layers. In our case, it's gonna be just one. The bird will take two inputs. The first one is the difference between the bird and the gap. The second one is the current vertical speed of the bird. Now before we go any further, let's first calculate the inputs. I wrote this simple function that returns the difference between the gap and the bird. Then we're gonna draw that difference to check its correctness. And it's working as intended. Before I started working on the neural network, I decided to write a simple algorithm that uses this difference. As soon as the difference reaches a certain threshold, the bird will flap. Now the question is, can my algorithm reach 10 points? 7 8 What the hell is wrong with you? Okay, let's go back to the neural network. The layers in the network are connected with each other, and each connection has a certain weight. So by changing the weights, we can change the behavior of the bird. Let's take these nodes for example. We're gonna take values from these nodes and multiply them by their corresponding weights. Then we're gonna take their sum and apply the activation function to it so that the sum is within a certain range. After that, we're gonna put the result in this node. Then we're gonna repeat the same thing for the other nodes. To make things easier, I'm storing the weights in a vector of vectors of vectors. I hate you even more. 
more. And I don't care even more. Then we're gonna set a random value for each weight. And as you can see from this console, everything is working. Now let's make the neural network. I didn't know what to call this function, so I just called it do AI stuff. For the activation function, I used a function similar to the hyperbolic tangent. Here's the formula, and here's the graph. I'm too lazy to check if it's working or not, so I'll just assume it's working. Now let's see how well this neural network plays the game. The bird will flap when the neural network returns a positive value. What do you think, can you reach 10 points? Clearly my amazing algorithm is a better player than some neural network. But what if we had more birds? Okay, adding more birds didn't fix the problem. Who knew? The reason we're not getting what we want is because we're not training the birds. And how will we train them? We're gonna use the genetic algorithm. Here's how it works. We're gonna assign random weights to the initial population of the birds. Then we're gonna let them play until they all die. After that, we'll take two birds that showed the best results. Let's call them Alpha and uh, Steve. We'll take the weights of Alpha and combine them with the weights of Steve to make a new bird. Alpha Steve! <laughs> The bird's fitness score will be the distance it traveled before death. And I added operator functions to make sorting a bit easier. Let's test it. It's working. Now we need to combine the weights. Here's how we're gonna do that. Let's say these are the weights of the first bird, these are the weights of the second, and these are the weights of the new bird. We're gonna randomly choose the weight of either the first or the second bird and assign it to the new bird. Then we'll repeat the same thing for the other weights. And to make sure we don't keep using the same values, we'll randomly assign new values for some weights. This process is called mutation. Instead of creating a new bird, we'll just change the weights of birds that didn't perform well. I also add a text to show the highest score. Let's see how much they can score. Alright, it's generation number 10 and they still haven't passed the first gap. Damn, they suck. Let's figure out why. Okay, I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. But I noticed that the birds kept focusing on the top part of the gap. So I decided to manually increase the difference between the gap and the bird. Let's hope this works. Oh yeah, they did it! And that's only the first generation! Before seeing what will happen next, I want to change the birds to make them look more... appropriate. All right, let's see how well these birds flap. Okay, I'm pretty sure they can go on like this forever. Let's make this game more challenging. I just made the pipes move vertically as well. First, let's see how many points my amazing algorithm can get. Two points. Now let's see the genetic algorithm. Ten thousand! And it's still going! Damn, this is amazing! Anyway, the code is in the description. Like and subscribe to show your support. And remember, 